Okay. Um, this is Edit Smooth Skin. I'm uh, really not quite sure how to uh, best explain it, but uh, I'll try my best. All right. Now I've set this. Uh, I've set my rig up. Now, look. Um, and we might just move this along a bit. Let's change uh, some sort of situation. Now, when we move, usually it's pretty good, but we can try to get it a little bit better. Now, uh, to do this, what I need to do is to say, all right, I'll just select my skin. And what I'm going to do is to go to skin, edit smooth skin, and paint skin weight tool. And I'm going to just uh, click on my options over here. All right. Now, you can see that it's kind of gone black to white. And... Uh, trying to make this as simple as possible. Um, the more movement, the whiter the, uh, the color. All right. Now I can say over here in my tool settings, this is a little bit different to the old Maya I was using. All right. Again, I've given names which are going to make this a lot easier to work on and understand where I am. All right, my top joint uh, has got a lot of movement. My middle, a uh, bit of nothing. And my bottom is like so. All right, now to, uh, to adjust these, really the two tools that we're going to be using are over here. Paint operations, um, add and smooth. I'm just going to start with smoothing. Smoothing is pretty straightforward. All right, I'm just going to go to my top. Now, what I can just do, I might just hide my joints. All right, just to make it a bit easier. No, I don't. All right, just to show you what I'm doing. Show, hide my joints. All right, just they're getting in the way a bit. All right, so press and hold B to make this bigger. Uh, might be a little bit difficult to see on our computers, but what I'm doing is I'm just kind of smoothing this out. All right, just trying to get this right. All right, and uh, again, probably if I had probably more detail. Probably just see there, it's just smoothing it out a bit. Uh, there's a quicker way to do this, but I think this is just gives you the idea of it. All right, there we go. So that's me working my top, my top. Now if I go to the, my middle joint, uh, I probably have to do that as, uh, as well. All right, smoothing that out and just say down to my bottom. All right, it's not much there. All right, now if I wanted to change things a bit, all right, just say I'm on my bottom. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to now click on add. All right, now what I want down here is my value. All right, now let's see, now I think one is white, yep. All right, so I'm just adding a value. So, all right, so what I'm just doing down here, my bottom, I really don't want any movement at all. All right, there you go. Now I'll hit smooth. All right, just kind of smooth that up a bit. All right, you can just see uh, you can imagine how much time you'll be spending doing this. All right. There we go. All right. So 
So that was my uh, say bottom, so there shouldn't be too much movement on the bottom. Middle's okay. And there's my top. Alright, so if I just went to go back to this. Yeah, you can kind of see, I might just go back to my base position, which is why when I froze my transformation, zero, zero, and zero. Alright, there we go. Alright, so you can see there's probably not as much movement in my bottom one as, uh, as before. And uh, there we go. Alright, that's just kind of uh, rather simple uh, way to explain it. Um, a lot of your time will, <clears throat> will be spent uh, smoothing and just getting, uh, fixing out a lot of the um, imperfections in your model. All right, but that's that's the basics of it. And I uh, hope this, uh, this helps you. So if you have problems in when you make your model, just come back to, to this.